I'm like the cleanup batter in that the first part of my talk will be repeating what everybody else said. The middle part of my talk is where I really make my points, and then the last part of my talk is where I hopefully teach you something. There are new state-of-the-art non-invasive procedures for evaluating early-stage cardiovascular disease that will reveal your patient's risk of heart disease and may save their lives. How many people in this room are primary care internists or general practice, family practice? How many people are cardiologists? How many people um, are podiatry, chiropractors, or nutritionists? Great. Superior doctors, all of you should be. They're the ones that prevent the disease. Mediocre doctors treat the disease before it's evident. Inferior doctors treat the full-blown disease. That was said 2600 BC by Chinese medical text. So we have a problem. Every 33 seconds, a person dies from a heart attack. <clears throat> Twenty six hundred deaths per day. The pictures give me a chance to uh, take a drink. A million lives per year are lost to cardiovascular disease. Some people say it's a man's disease. It's not. Half a million women die each year from heart disease. Fifty percent of men and sixty. 4% of women who died suddenly from coronary heart disease had no previous symptoms of the disease. And 50% of the people walking into an ER with a heart attack have no known conventional risk factors. I know you've heard this stuff before. I want to make sure it sinks in. We spend a lot of money. We're breaking the bank because of cardi uh, coronary heart disease. Two major problems exist in the prevention of cardiovascular disease. One, inaccurate, individualized assessment of cardiovascular risk. Two, inadequate monitoring of the vascular system's response to treatment. And I hope what I'm going to accomplish today is show you a paradigm where these two things can happen, where you can accurately individualize an assessment for cardiovascular risk, and you can adequately monitor the changes that take place based on your treatment. 80 million Americans have cardiovascular disease. It's a real public health crisis. 73 million have high blood pressure. Coronary heart disease, 16.8 million. Stroke, 6.5 million. Undetected cardiovascular disease is the greatest health risk facing patients today. If we add up the next five or six reasons people die, which includes cancer, respiratory disease, accidents, diabetes, they don't equal the million people that die from heart disease per year. So let's look at people who's really at risk and why is it we need an individualized assessment? Jim Fix, a marathon runner, author, exercise advocate, died at age 53 of heart attack. Sir Winston Churchill, my hero, broke every tenant in the healthy lifestyle, smoked, overweight, drank, dead at 91. Here's the guy who's the enigma. He can afford the finest medicine he goes and sees his doctor. He has his stress test. He's on statins. He's on diet reduction. He has a piece of plaque that breaks off, blocks an artery, and his heart goes into arrhythmia, and he dies of sudden cardiac death. I know it was said before, but 100,000 people or more per year out of the million die from sudden cardiac death, and the first sign of that is what? Yell it out. Death. One hell of a wake-up call, don't you think? How about the stress test? We already heard the majority of people destined to die suddenly will not have a positive stress test. 
Such persons probably will not have ischemia before the fatal event. The likely reason that they will die suddenly is that only a mild non-flow limiting lesion will have been present before the sudden development of an occlusive thrombus. Angiogram, gold standard for evaluating a blockage. 1% of the pe people have a heart attack following the procedure. I know somebody mentioned the angiogram, right, Andrew? So I'm telling you a little different take on why I wouldn't turn to you, sir, and say let's just do an angiogram for giggles because there's a chance you'll have a heart attack. One in 3,000 have some kind of adverse reaction. There's radiation performed in a hospital. It's expensive. It's not a screening procedure. 